Hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. Just like we promised, here comes an Indian cookie recipe video. Today we're making Indian shortbread cookies. That's right, and it makes it even a little bit more Indian because I'm adding cardamom to the recipe, which is not in the recipe, but it is a staple in Indian culture. So I added the cardamom to make sure that they were actually authentic. Shortbread, cardamom, nutmeg, shortbread cookies. That's a mouthful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tell them where the link is, Katie. It's in the description. Okay, so here's our ingredients. We have all-purpose flour, baking soda. Half of the recipe is gonna have the cocoa powder. Uh, we have a mixture of nutmeg and cardamom. And then we have powdered sugar. And then we have a substitute for, what is it called? Semolina. Semolina. Or semolina. I don't know. I don't know Whatever. what it is. If we, we couldn't find it at our store, but there's bread flour is a great substitute because it has a little bit more gluten than um, just an all-purpose flour. So I researched it and the manufacturers of Selena. Semolina. Selena, whatever. <laughs> they say that you can do bread, uh, bread flour is the best substitute. So that's what we're doing. Oh, by the way, there's also milk and butter. So first you're gonna sift the dry ingredients. Yes. So you can drop the flour so in there. Flour. Okay, I'm gonna add the butter in. And this recipe calls for powdered sugar and not normal sugar. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Adding powdered sugar, not granulated. I never just I'm done this with just powdered sugar. So this recipe's a little bit different. Well, one, there was powdered sugar and not granulated sugar. And two, you don't use the mixer after the butter. You have to fold things in gently, I guess, because it would need it. I'm not sure, but it says not to use the mixer anymore. So everything else between now and then is gonna be with a spatula and a hand. The recipe looked like we were gonna get about two dozen cookies. There's no way that's gonna happen. Um, so I, I don't know how many cookies we're actually gonna get out of this, but we'll just make it and you can learn from maybe our mistakes. I mean, so far it's looking like cookie dough. It looks it is. good. Just Slowly not a coming lot. together. Yeah. They're gonna be very small cookies, like mini cookies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's so much quicker when the mixer does it. It does. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Slowly incorporating it. Slowly. So here's the consistency so far. They said that we could add a tablespoon or two of milk to make sure it's a soft dough. Definitely gonna need that for sure. And then mom's gonna mix that and it'll turn back into a dough. It's gonna form it back into a dough. And you can already tell it's happening. Strangely, the recipe doesn't say when to put our spices in. So we want it actually baked in so you can actually taste it all throughout the cookie. So we're gonna put it in before we bake it. The alternative would have been to sprinkle it on at the end, which is another yeah. way of doing it, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. It, it's weird. We read the recipe multiple times and couldn't find it. Now mom is going to uh, do her best not to knead it because they say don't knead it. I know, like you're <laughs> supposed to like portion it out and I want I want the right. I want the yes. spices to be well incorporated. Yeah, and you're gonna have to flatten it to turn it into like, cookies. I don't want it to look like that. Yes, all the spices in one place. So that really, it would have made sense to put it into the flour mixture before we added the flour. It would have. That would have incorporated it most evenly. So yeah. you're just gonna do your best to I'm gonna do my best. knead it just it's a little very bit. Very weird that it doesn't it didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's dad's turn to yeah. help Katie <laughs> to make sure this dough, he rolled out the dough and now we're putting cocoa powder on just half of it. They said to do it after. It's so weird, I would've thought they would put it into the dry mixture. I don't know, I'm not arguing with the recipe, I'm doing exactly what the recipe says. I have not had a recipe like this. Ever. Yeah, ever. Where you don't add the coke. Like I know now it looks like I'm playing with a dirt cloth. Right? <laughs> you want to help? You want to go wash your hands? You don't want to help? <laughs> She's like, I don't. I don't want to get my. This doesn't look fun. So about like that size. We're yeah, gonna I test would one. So. Let's test one. Let's go pop it in and see what comes out. That's the strangest order of doing things I've ever seen. Nothing should require you to put cocoa powder on dough after the fact. I just can't imagine. Maybe I'm wrong, but no baking show or challenge I've ever watched had us do that. We'll see you in 15 minutes. 
Well, you win some and you lose some, and we definitely rolled the dice and we lost. This cookie, I would, it, it's not a cookie. It, look, it's, it's crumbling in my hands. It doesn't hold its shape. It's very dry and almost tasteless. And I even used this salted butter to think, okay, maybe that would help, and it didn't. We've done so many cooking videos and they all came good. Even my fruit cake turned out better than this. It doesn't taste bad, it just doesn't taste good either. Taste. Oh, it's not that bad. I mean, it is kind of. She's spitting oh. in the trash can. What do you think? <laughs> She's gonna go get water. Well, I don't think there's much recovering after that. You gotta throw every single piece out. <laughs> She's, sh bad. she's shuddering. All right, what do you think if we have someone else cook Indian food for us tonight? Yep. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head out to an Indian restaurant. Okay, so we changed our plans to that gross cookie. So we're at Tabla. This is a brand new Indian restaurant. It's supposed to be one of the best in Orlando uh, based on uh, their website and everything and the food that we're watching come out of the kitchen. It looks amazing. Uh, so we were gonna go to Oshawa. They didn't have reservations for over the July 4th weekend. So uh, we're here and uh, hopefully we're gonna try some good Indian food and make up for that lame cookie recipe. It's so lame that I don't think I want to throw a description down in the link in the description below because it was just really gross and don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Caleb, you tried that cookie today. What'd you think? It was disgusting. It had no taste. Yeah, it had no taste whatsoever. Very weird. I mean, why would you take rid of cocoa and add it in after the fact? There was so much cocoa and so little sugar. I don't know what they were trying to pull off. It was weird. But I'm telling you, the food looks so good here. That thing okay. over there, I don't know what that is. That looks good. Oh, careful. What is that? I don't know, it looks like wontons. Huh? It looks like wontons, something. Like what? Like a wonton. A nest of noodles or something. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. Anything would look good right now. Hey, cutie. She was not going to make it to the bar. We had to bring her She right. was hungry. Is that good? Yes. You were a hungry muffin girl. It's cauliflower. It's, uh, I think it's deep fried and tossed in a sauce. Uh, I forget what it's called. I just don't remember. We get it all the time over in Oshawa. They're both very good. Super, super good. Good? Katie? Daisy, what do you think, baby girl? Okay, so we finally got our food, and I ate um, korma, tikka masala, and fish, and Indo Chinese fried rice, and some naan. And everybody else ate, kind of ate the same thing. I think I like Asha a little bit better than this. Like, it was I would rate this place a four and a half, and I'll show a five. Who we'll wants some fish? That's your plate. So what do you think, Mike? I probably rate it the same as Katie. Uh, there's more heat in this food. There's like you can feel it after you've been eating for a while. You can feel it like a steady warmth. The spices, the flavors are very close. They just emphasize different ingredients more than what we're used to. Like you can get like nutty flavors and hints and stuff like that. Um, but um, yeah, I think four and a half for here, five for Oscar Watch probably. We love you, Oscar Watch. They watch our channel. Actually. Some of them there, so they're gonna be jealous that we went somewhere else. We, we couldn't get a table for seven on open table, so we came here. But I'm not, I'm not regretting that at all. The naan is fantastic. Uh, the appetizer was fantastic. Everything here is really good. I would definitely try it if you're in Orlando. Try top.
So we just got home. We hope that you enjoyed our video. Although it didn't go as planned, uh, I still got to spend time with my girl and I love that. Um, so we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.